Hello, this is Robin Norgren. I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. You are reaching this podcast in the middle of a series called Help Me Know How to Pray. And with this series, what uh, I am doing is I am taking verses from the Bible. I read them out as a meditation and then I reformulate them so that they are prayers that you can allow to be read over yourself um, as you are walking, as you are sitting, throughout the day, anytime you feel some tugging in your heart that you really want to pray but you don't know what words to use. Because words anchor your thoughts. What I've always appreciated about using prayer beads, Protestant beads, rosary, is that there's something to tangibly hold on to um, in your moments of helplessness. And so I sit before you wanting to give you some sort of sense of peace, joy, the ability to be patient, but also in understanding that You're not alone. Joshua 2.11 Lord my God, you are God in the heavens above and the earth below. Job 26.7 You stretch out the north over empty space. You suspend the earth on nothing. Amos 5.8 You made the Pleiades and Orion and turned deep darkness into morning and darkened day into night. You call for the waters of the sea and pour them out over the face of the earth. The Lord is your name. Romans 12.1 In view of your mercy, O God, may I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to you which is my reasonable service. Isaiah 33, 2. O Lord, be gracious to us. We have hoped in you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. Proverbs 3, 13 to 18. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gains understanding. For wisdom's profit is greater than that of silver, and her gain is more than fine gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing I desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who embrace her, and happy are those who hold her fast. I have come to you for protection, O good Lord God. Save me from my persecutors. Rescue me. If you don't, they will maul me like a lion tearing me to pieces with no one to rescue me. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. End the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous. For you look deep within the mind and heart, O righteous God. God, be my shield saving those whose hearts are right and true. God, you are an honest judge. You are angry with the wicked every day. If a person does not repent, God, sharpen your sword, bend and string your bow, prepare your weapons, shoot your arrows. The wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. They dig a deep trap. 
to trap others, then fall into it themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. Thank you, Lord, for you, God, are just. Sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Lord God, you are the supreme God of the heavens above and the earth below. God, you stretch the northern sky over empty space and hang your earth on nothing. You wrap the rain in your dark, thick clouds. God, you cover the face of the moon, shrouding it with your clouds. You create the horizon, Lord, when you separate the waters. You set the boundary between day and night. The foundations of heaven tremble. They shudder at your rebuke, God. By your power, God, the sea grew calm. Your spirit, God, made the waves and the heavens beautiful. Lord, you created the stars, the Pleiades and Orion. You turned darkness into morning and day into night. God, you draw up water from the oceans and pour it down as rain on the land. The Lord is your name. Remind me that my body belongs to you, God, because of all you have done. Let this body be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind you, God, will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship you, Lord. Help me not to copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform me into a new person by changing the way I think. Then I will learn to know your will for me, God which is good and pleasing and perfect. Lord, be merciful to me, for I have waited for you. Be my strong arm each day and my salvation in times of trouble. The enemy runs at the sound of your voice. When you stand up, Lord, the nations flee. Help me to never forget the things you have taught me. Store your commands in my heart, God. Remind me that if I do this, life will be long and it will be satisfying. Please write loyalty and kindness deep within my heart. I want your favor, God, and you give me favor with people and a good reputation. Help me then to trust you, Lord, with all of my heart and not depend on my own understanding. Cause me to seek your will, God, in all that I do. And you, Lord, will show them which path to take, just as you show me. Forgive me for being impressed with my wisdom. Instead, help me to fear you, Lord, and turn away from evil. Then I will have healing for my body and strength for my bones. Help me to honor you, Lord, with wealth and with the best part of everything I produce. Then, God, you will fill my barns with grain and the vats will overflow with good wine. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding. For wisdom is more profitable than silver, and her wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing I desire can compare with her. She offers me long life in my right hand, and riches and honor in my left. She guides me down delightful paths, and all her ways are satisfying. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her, and happy are those who hold her tightly. By wisdom the Lord founded the earth, 
By understanding, he created the heavens. By this knowledge, the deep fountains of the earth burst forth, and the dew settles beneath the night sky. Help me to lose sight of common sense and discernment. Help me to hang on to them, for they will refresh my soul. They are like jewels on a necklace. They keep me safe on my way. And my feet will not stumble. I will go to bed without fear. I will lie down and sleep soundly. I will not need to be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked. Lord, be my security. God, keep my foot from being caught in a trap. Help me to not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's my power to help them.